Hey, welcome to Watch. I'm waiting on the Lord. Um, today's date, I don't know what today's date is. I think it may be October 28th. I'm going to read you one article about the invasion. And I'm also going to read at the end of it Malachi 4 uh, about the day of the Lord. Um, I wanted to read it because of a verse I was reading in uh, one of the Gospels, John, about uh, Elijah and um, about Elijah and Moses, and it just brought me to Malachi 4, which is interesting. You want to hear it? Um, so before I begin this, I just quickly say that uh, no matter what happens. You know, what, what, whatever this is leading up to, we don't know what it's going to, um, you know, we don't know how long it's going to take to get up to Ezekiel 38, 39. And pardon me, my stomach is like spasming in this video. Um, I don't know what's wrong. There's something wrong with me today, but we don't know what it's building up to. So I think it's important that that um, you don't expect that it's going to be that because for all we know there could be you know a false peace that happens and we don't we don't know right but we look on with um, you know it's I think we're the only people on earth uh, you know Christians are the only people on earth who look at this and are excited right people are like why are you excited well because the day, the day of the Lord is coming. So I'm going to read this. Um, this is War News 24-7. IDF's first major operation, Israeli ground forces, enter the north and central Gaza, fierce fighting with Hamas. 150 targets are hit. And I'll link this. Heavy fighting is taking place between Israeli forces and Hamas, so get saved today. Ask God into your heart today. Heavy fighting is taking place between Israeli forces and Hamas fighters in central and northern Gaza. Israelis and Palestinians are reportedly fighting in the area near uh, Beit Hanun and East Megazi in central Gaza. Gunfire, tanks, artillery, and airstrikes are heard. According to reports, Israeli troops remain in Gaza until now. 11 hours since thousands of Israeli soldiers as well as hundreds of tanks and armored vehicles crossed the border fence last night in northern Gaza. Excuse me, that happens with my gallbladder. <laughs> um, it appears that the Israeli attack took place in three areas in northern Gaza. Fighting between the IDF and Hamas fighters near al Burij and possibly near Bit Hanun continues according to local reports. Uh, there are clashes in Baraj uh, slash Jur al Dik Bid La Lahaya areas. And uh, there's so there's a video here showing the IDF releases footage of forces operating the Gaza Strip uh, on X. I don't I don't I don't go on X overnight in this morning. Um, shows tanks also on X I'm just there's more to this article but I just you know in future when I read these things you know that it's comments Hamas is fighting the uh, Israeli uh, military in the northern Gaza Strip it's reported that several units of the IDF armored uh, vehicles were hit by crews of the Is Ad Din Al Qasim Brigade anti-tank systems it's hard to counter anti-tank missiles, especially if they're from Russia, like the uh, Cornet. Israeli tanks and armored vehicles are still inside the northern Gaza Strip this morning, uh, with it over 11 hours since they crossed the border. It's now 6 a.m. in Israel, roughly nine hours since reportedly thousands of troops, as well as hundreds of tanks, and armored vehicles crossed the border fence last night in the northern Gaza, and we still have zero clue about what happened in his happening. 
Heavy clashes are continuing between Israeli forces and Palestinian militants um, in the area near Beit Hanun, also reportedly east of Megazi in central Gaza. Gunfire, tanks, artillery, airstrikes, audible. Uh, Israeli troops reportedly still in Gaza at this time. Hundred and fifty underground targets were hit. Israeli's military announced that it hit hundred and fifty underground targets in northern Gaza Strip overnight Friday into Saturday. Overnight Israeli military warplanes struck hundred and fifty underground targets in the northern Gaza Strip, including tunnels used by terrorist underground combat facilities um, and other underground infrastructure. Did you see uh, the New York City last night? Um, in Grand Central Station, they arrested a lot of those people, but man, that's that's just like I'm glad that they arrested some of those people. That's all I can say. You know, with all of this, I'm like everything that's happened. I'm like. You know, you start searching in your soul, you're like, you know this is God's land. I made videos about this. Whose land, you know, do they have any, can, can they contest any of this land, the Palestinians? And uh, so I started looking into scripture, right? Um, like a person should. And uh, what I, I, go read Zechariah 2 right now. Go read Zechariah 2, because it answers the question. I know in my heart it's God's land, right? And God has chosen people, so. Um, sorry. Several Hamas terrorists were killed. The Israeli military said in a statement released after a night of heavy Israeli shelling in the Palestinian, Palestinian enclave. And hey, I'm for innocence on both sides, okay? At the same time, they announced that they killed the head of the Hamas Air Force in the Gaza Strip. Hamas has an air force? I didn't know. Uh, maybe drones? According to the statement, Atsem Abu Rafah was one of the planners of the October 7th attack leading forces that uh, infiltrated the Gaza Strip by parachuting and directing drone attacks that hit IDF positions. Abu Rafah was reportedly killed in the airstrike, pictured in the following video. So I'll leave this in the description box and you can see for yourself. Holy... I can just see in the picture. <clears throat> and that's uh, breaking. This is Gaza tonight, and Hamas terrorist organization is now paying a heavy price for murdering and terrorizing innocent people. Heavy bombardment in the city by Israeli Air Force is taking many lives, or sorry, is taking lives of many terrorists tonight. The shelling of Gaza continues. Last night's bombardment by Israeli Air Force or, or forces from land, air, and sea, about 100 fighters took place in the operation, was the, the worst since the beginning of the war in three weeks, and put a new phase in the war between the Israeli army and Hamas. Uh, this was emphasized by the journalists sent by the first, from the first moments when the Israeli operations began and re repeated early Saturday morning by the residents of the Gaza Strip. I heard some tanks were hit. We don't know how many, well, I heard there were 14 Merkava tanks were hit, and by now, it could be more. I'm sure they repair them, but uh, according uh, to them, the shelling was continuous in the eastern part of the Strip, mainly in the northern area from Jabila to Beit Lahaya and Beit Lahun, but also east of Deir al-Bala in the center of Gaza Strip and in Ken Yunus in the south. Israeli shelling continues in the morning on the Gaza Strip, but it intensified, uh, but its intensity has decreased. AFB correspondents in and around the Palestinian enclave reported. There's been no official death toll from the health ministry so far, but medical sources in the area told an AFB reporter uh, they feared the death toll would be very high after the, after the Israeli army shelling escalated last night. 
Uh, sporadic explosions could be heard in the morning as the strikes from aircraft, artillery, and sea continued. However, the intensity of the strikes has decreased compared to the night, noted as correspondence inside the Gaza Strip. Thick smoke and haze covered much of the Palestinian enclave, said another journalist in Ashkelon, in South Israel, about 10 kilometers away. <coughs> the long hours of shelling, the nonstop blows making the windows and the ground shake in Ashkelon uh, during the night till about 4 in the morning, local and Greek time. Local and Gentile time. Smoke and the smell of burning objects had reached the southern Israeli cities of Ashkelon and Stirot by sunrise as fighter jets continued to fly low and explosions were heard from Gaza. Uh, I, I heard uh, yesterday that um, the United States for the first time since World War II, since World War II, I believe, stopped all exports uh, except to the warring countries that they're supporting. Uh, all civilian um, firearms. Think about that. That means they're gearing up for war. What else would that mean? Uh, this is from X. According to Israel Defense, over 150 underground targets were destroyed last night in the Gaza Strip by Israeli aircraft using high-impact bunker-busting munitions. While an IDF military officer stated we are using fire that is never seen before in Gaza. Pardon me, I'm going to take a sip of water and read some more of this. And um, you know what it's going to say? When it comes to all the modern tanks, you know, like the Challenger, the Leopard, the Abrams, the Merkava, they can all kill one another. They all have a, net, a, a munition that can kill one another. You know, people s speak about how awesome each tank is. But of all of them, the Leopard's the best, the Leopard 2, because it's the only one where you can, if it gets hit, you can, or, or breaks down, you can replace the engine in 30 minutes. Think about that. That's like a, a game changer. I think I may have a kidney stone moving again. That's why my, st my stomach is just like squeezing, squeezing. That's what I suspect is happening. Land-based businesses, land-based business in three locations. Hamas announced last night that fighting was ongoing between members of its military arm and Israeli uh, army units in the Gaza Strip. We are facing Israeli ground incursions at, at Bet Hanun, northeast, Bet Lahaya, northwest, and El uh, Baraj, central. Heavy fighting is underway. The Ezzedin Al Qasim Brigade summarized. An Israeli uh, army spokesman told AFB on Friday night that Israeli forces were operating inside the Gaza Strip uh, as they did the day before. Israeli army units entered the small Palestinian enclave before withdrawing. <clears throat> Um, the fighting followed the uh, Israeli military's announcement that it had a very significant, in a very significant way, intensified its strikes in the Gaza Strip and that it would expand its ground operations. Israeli shelling is captured by cameras and, and cameras yesterday reached a level not seen in three weeks. After Israel declared war on Hamas, Following its attack on uh, Israeli territory that left more than 1,400 dead, telecommunications and internet access were cut off in Gaza, according to the authorities of Hamas, which has been in power in the enclave since 2007. EFB journalists found that they could only communicate in areas where there was a signal from Israeli uh, telecom antennas. So that's another thing there. Um, they're not their, their internet is down there now and the satellites aren't wor working for them so that's, that's the only place they're getting their is from israeli telecom antennas 
bouncing off their their towers or whatever. Hamas yesterday called on the international community to act now to stop the Israeli bombardment, while at the same time saying it was ready to repel a ground invasion. The only way that could ever make peace of that is if the people literally removed and fought against um, Hamas. They, you know, they way outnumber them. I'm just saying, you know. Of course, you know that you read stories in the Bible and it takes a lot of courage to do that type of thing. And uh, I don't know their, the position of what they could do. People always, we can't always do that. Also, the Palestinian Islamist movement reported that a barrage of rockets was launched against targets in Israel. Last night, the sky in the Gaza Strip is orange-red, as if it had caught on fire from the explosions. That's it for that. I'm going to read you uh, after I take a bite here, because my stomach, Malachi 4. The reason I came to Malachi 4 was because I was reading John 1, like, you know, the Gospel of John. It's like 1 or 2, I forget. <clears throat> when it says, um, you know, that Elijah, oh, sorry, the, the Pharisees sent to see if he was Elijah. And he says, in a funny way, he says, no, but he really is. Anyway, but it brought me to here. I'm not getting into that. There's a lot of hermeneutics in that. And uh, John the Baptist was the spirit of Elijah. And also, transfiguration, right? Elijah was there. <clears throat> but there's much more to that. That It's just very tough to, to get into that whole thing. The great day of God. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. And this is coming soon. Soon enough. And all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble. And the day which is coming shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that will leave them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. And you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. You shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. On the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts, remember the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded him in Horeb for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. Think about that. The very last words of the Old Testament lest I come and strike the earth with a curse anyways thanks for watching um, today's video I'll link all that um, and uh, pray for me that this isn't a kidney stone please God bless